I know I was planning to release a video about taming your dragon. However, my bearded dragon is going through a shedding process right now, and I got a lot of footage, and I wanted to share that process with you um, since I thought that this would be helpful as well. So I just couldn't resist. Um, I hope you enjoy this. Thank you. Bye. You're watching Midwest Lizard Mom. Now, bearded dragons shed in patches, so you're not going to see a full sheet of skin come off like a gecko or a snake. Bearded dragons, you're going to see parts of their skin kind of peel off. Don't pick it. Now, I know it might be tempting, but really don't because you could hurt them. It could Pulling at their, their stuck shed could hurt their scales. They could end up bleeding. It could just be painful. So just don't do it. Now, one thing you can do to help is give them a bath. Um, what I do after the bath is I will um, go ahead and towel them off so that they're fully dry. Um, just dabbing them and kind of cuddling them and holding them. When you are giving them a bath, you can take a toothbrush and just very lightly kind of stroke their scales like you do when you give them a bath normally but don't pull on anything don't be rough just be extremely gentle it should I would think be soothing for them um, but yeah a bath is a good option you could use a shedding aid I've never had to if you're having trouble with um, sorry <laughs> your bearded dragons having trouble getting their shut off it's possible that you might need to reevaluate your husbandry um, in the time that I've had him, he's never had any stuck shed that has just not come off. Um, my previous bearded dragon also never had any shedding problems. So make sure that you have your correct lighting. Um, that's heating, UVB. Temperatures need to be right. Humidity needs to be right. Um, but if they're having trouble shedding, they could be sick. So you might want to see a vet. Also, if they're stuck shed or the shed looks like it could be infected, definitely take them to their vet. Um, to get an assessment, possibly get that treated, taken care of. The other thing with shedding, you might notice that your bearded dragon acts kind of weird. They might kind of um, scoot around, they might not want to be touched, they might get kind of um, persnickety. Um, my bearded dragon, um, I'd seen like his skin start to lighten up and start to kind of move off, so I noticed, okay, he's going to be getting into shedding pretty soon or at least starting in some places. And I saw my dragon just kind of like scoot on the ground and I was concerned at first because I thought, okay, I've been using the right UVB, supplements, diet's great. I really hope this isn't MBD because that's terrifying. MBD is metabolic bone disease. I can do a video on that in the future as well. In fact, I probably will. Um, but if you don't know what that is, um, shoot a comment below. It is something that I really do want to cover in the future. But um, it wasn't that. He was scooting, like just kind of doing this little wiggle thing, because he was trying to get the shed off of his stomach. So if you ever see your dragon doing weird things, it could be because they're shedding or something else, there could be a lot of reasons, but just kind of take a look at their scales and see, do parts of them look like they're kind of flaky? And um, it can be bigger pieces in some cases, it could be just individual scales. My guy sometimes makes quite a mess of his enclosure when he sheds. <laughs> Someone mentioned um, picking out your bearded dragon's shed, no shed, and you just really shouldn't do that. You can, however, kind of wipe. There you go. That came out without any trouble. That is what we call a nose trumpet. It's a very tiny thing. It looks like a little trumpet. You cannot really see it here, but um, that is something. Now, I can also, I see he has some some shed that's trying to come off here and try to help by just brushing it. And that doesn't want to come off. So I'm not going to pull at it because it could hurt him. It'll come off when it's ready. So that's it. I hope you found this um, entertaining as well as helpful information for you. So thanks for stopping by and I will see you next time. Bye. Also, I have to say a shout out. I just reached 200 subscribers this week. Thank you so much, all of you who have subscribed. 
it means a lot to me. I'm thrilled that 200 of you said that you wanted to see videos more and more of mine, so you felt it valuable to hit subscribe. So thank you so much. It really is quite great. I am doing this for me, but I also am really excited to share information with you, and I'm really glad that um, there are people out there that are finding this helpful and hopefully entertaining in some cases. So <laughs> um, thanks again for stopping by and I'll see you next time or you'll see me. I won't see you because I can't see through your TV. That would be weird. All right. Bye.